And then there is the Fed. For a short while today, comments from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell helped cut the market losses in half. Though short-lived, it is a reminder of just how powerful the central bank can be. Steve Leisman tells us what the chairman said and why it's important to investors. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell seven times in his speech Tuesday said interest rate policy, that is whether they go up or down, will depend on the data, the economic data, that is. He added that the economy is in good shape overall, despite some troubles on the horizon. Many indicators show a historically strong labor market with solid job gains, unemployment at a half-century low, and rising prime-age labor force participation. But there are risks to this favorable outlook, principally from global developments. Growth around much of the world has weakened over the past year and a half, and uncertainties around trade, Brexit, and other issues pose risks to the outlook. What's it all mean for the outlook for rates? While Powell did appear mostly neutral about what the Fed will do at its late October meeting, markets took his comments as affirming their expectations for another rate cut. J.P. Morgan writing in a commentary after the speech, quote, if the Fed leadership wanted to push back against market expectations of another ease later this month, we think Powell would have chosen language that didn't call out downside risks to the outlook. Speaking in Denver, the Fed chair also said the central bank will begin increasing the size of its balance sheet. That reverses a policy from last year where it was reducing the balance sheet, swelled during the financial crisis to a more normal level. Growth of our balance sheet for reserve management purposes should in no way be confused with the large-scale asset purchase programs that we deployed after the financial crisis. Neither the recent technical issues nor the purchases of Treasury bills we are contemplating to resolve them should materially alter the stance of monetary policy. This was a major opportunity for Powell to change the market's expectations for the late October meeting, and he seems to have chosen not to do so. So it looks like another rate cut, another 25 basis point rate cut, is on the way to being delivered by the Fed right around Halloween. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.